So on I Love Money, there was a very notable relationship that you were in there after, you know, New York. You were then now kind of linked to Heather Chadwell, who was from Rock of Love. She's had some very interesting things to say about you recently. Um, what were your thoughts on just the experience of that show and your relationship with Heather? Was that real? Were you guys really interested in each other? Were you doing it more for the cameras? It's amazing that uh, she still has things, you know, recently to say, because uh, in the grand scheme of things, right, we met in Mexico. I'd never, I'd seen her on the show before and I thought she was cute. You know, she seemed like my type. Um, you know, we met in Mexico. We hung out for about two to three weeks on a TV show, hooked up a handful of times. Um, towards the end of the show, I was kind of already not really feeling her, but we still, I, out of respect for her, I didn't go jump to Megan or another girl on the show. I just said, hey, I'm already kind of in this scenario. Let me just ride it out. Um, I ended up getting eliminated probably because people didn't like her. And if you watch the show and Megan, it talks about getting rid of me. If I was, you know, partnered up with Megan, she wouldn't have been planning to get me out. So there was some things, some mistakes, but either way, the show ends. I go back to Jersey. She, we're in Mexico. I go back to Jersey. She goes back to L.A. I've got my own life going on there. I didn't call her. You know, I was out partying, dating girls, just doing whatever. I never literally picked up the phone one time and said, let me say what's up to Heather. You know, it was literally a show thing. And even when we left in Mexico, um, the night after we're filming, there was a couple of girls hanging around me. And Heather's like, hey, you, if you want to hang out with them, that's fine. Or I'm just going to go back to my room. And I was like, OK, I'm just going to hang out with these girls. So it was like not a relationship, really. And then... Um, we didn't talk the whole time. She came to New York one night when I hosted um, I hosted a party for the uh, I Love Money watch party. And she was in town. Entertainer was coming. Heat was coming. You know, so we had some people coming. So she's like, I want to come. So she flew herself in. I was like, great. I already had a girl fly in from a different state to come hang out with me for the, you know, for the evening. So Heather knew that, though. She's like, no, listen, we're not dating. You know, the whole thing. She came in. And then 3 in the morning, I'm getting these texts. You and that blonde, blah, 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 all this stuff. And I'm like, I haven't talked to you in months. Yeah, and it was just really unusual. And this is this is the we haven't filmed the we hadn't filmed the um, what do you call reunion. it the, the reunion yet. So this is this is day one, right? So the reunion films on week twelve or whatever. So we didn't talk again after that because I was like, okay, that's like enough. Like you know what I mean? And she's like, I apologize. At like five in the morning, her text turned from like crazy, like mad to like, hey, I'm sorry. So I was like, okay, you know, listen, we're going our own ways, and it's simple. I run into her at the Fox Reality Awards two days before the reunion. And we got nominated for an award for Best Kiss. We won. I had no idea even that I was nominated. I just went because we were on the show and I was allowed, you know, to go in and hang out. And um, that night we ended up hanging out, you know, kind of just rekindling a little bit. Anyway, I went back to her place. We all hung out. And, you know, that's where that kind of scenario went. Um, and then to, uh, the next day at the reunion, she found out that I had hooked up with Megan, like in Vegas, like just at a random party. It was something, you know, totally unrelated and just like went off, like as if I didn't tell her and I just hung out. It was just, and here we are 13 years later, I have two kids and she's still mentioning things. And I'm thinking like, man, like I, I just picture that scene where, you know, the, the woman comes in, fatal attraction, boils the, boils the Bonnie rabbit, like of the guys when he's out with like his kid, like, you know what I mean? I'm thinking like, it's like, I'm looking around for that to happen next because you know what I mean? Like I, I have no relationship with this, this woman and she's still saying things and she, the things I, I don't try not to pay attention, but people have brought them to my attention. I mean, she says things about, I mentioned something about throwing up or eating disorder. I mean, she's trying so hard to take things to such an extreme level. If I had mentioned yeah. it, it was like, cause we were young and I was like, you know, like just kind of joking around a little bit, you know, if I had even said something as crazy as that, you know, but she's going out here now, you know, in her forties and saying things that are like, I, again, doesn't hurt me whatsoever. It's just, I find it interesting that I'm brought up, you know, and now all of a sudden um, that whole drama that just happened, I guess she had a podcast and that whole thing, uh, you know, kind of went out of whack. And now all of a sudden uh, Lacey's been emailing me and I'm like, man, I just got brought right into this thing again. So I guess if Heather keeps wanting to bring me into things, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be right here waiting. <laughs> yeah. Apparently Lacey from Rock of Love and Heather we're doing a podcast together and then it didn't end up, which is where she brought up a lot of this stuff where she talks about you. She talks a lot about Megan. She does not like Megan at all. Um, she says that you hooked up with Megan. Um, she also said that there was like a love triangle with you, her and Daisy from Rock of Love. Daisy had her own show, Daisy of Love, Daisy De La Hoya. So yeah, she brought up a lot of different accusations and it's interesting to see 
how her and Lacey reconnected and were even living together. And now their relationship has kind of crumbled and Heather was kind of blasting her on social media and that podcast very quickly fizzled out. What was your relationship like with Megan? You know, I, I, I don't think any of the girls, you know, on these shows, could I really say that I had relationships with, uh, more so than uh, mutual, friendly, casual, really nothing. You know, uh, Megan and I didn't get to talk much on, on the show because Heather, the one time me and Megan and Brandy were sitting by the pool hanging out, I'm in my green speedos, we're, we're hanging out, having a good time. It's, we're Mexico, it's an off day. Heather comes out and she's like, yeah, like yelling. And they didn't show this on the, it didn't make any sense for the episode. And she's like, that's it, I'm done. Let's get him out of the house. Like talking about me. And I was like, what did I do? And then I started realizing like, oh, wow. Like I got to tread real lightly here because I had clearly picked, you know, the person who was going to be possessive and starting fights with all these other girls just for talking to me. And now I'm thinking this is like an alliance show. So yeah. I'm kind of, you know, how am I going to get alliances? So I didn't talk to Megan really at all much during the show. And then afterwards, um, you know, we talked a few times online. Like you could tell there was a little bit of tension there, just like we thought each other were attractive, but we didn't, you know, there was nothing more than that. And then uh, we went to Vegas and, uh, you know, we'll just say she didn't even go to her hotel room. She came right to mine, dropped her stuff in there and jumped in the shower. And I was like, all right, you know, I guess. We'll and it's on. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, what were you guys in Vegas for? We were just hosting a party. Um, okay. just Tropicana, just the regular party and you know it you know you're like okay I'm gonna host a party with this girl this weekend and okay I'm gonna do this this weekend so you know who you're hanging out with ahead of time so you can either reach out and say what's up or just wait till you get there and see if they're gonna be cool or, or not you know you get to meet so many cool people so Heather also said that her feud with Daisy De La Hoya, who was on Rock of Love 2 and then eventually you were on her show and we'll get to that in a bit but Heather said that while you got that she had a, a feud with Daisy because Daisy I guess there was a point where you were being interviewed by Daisy and you guys were flirting and she didn't like that there was kind of some chemistry between the two of you what was that interview that Heather was referring to and what was your relationship like with Daisy before going on her show so I mean, Heather, and Heather must have really been everywhere at that point, because you know when you think you're you're going out and she's not around, all of a sudden like okay, I'm not in the house, I can actually talk to the girl, and here yeah, apparently she was watching from somewhere. So um, I was interviewed by Daisy, uh, but we went out like uh, it was an off day of filming, and you know the cast from VH1 comes in and says, hey, we're gonna do some different things, we're gonna go downtown, we're gonna shoot 12 pack, we're gonna shoot you here, we're gonna, you're gonna get interviewed by Daisy, entertainer, you're gonna go and film something here. So they had stuff planned for us throughout the day, like different things. They brought Daisy down for that. I had no idea that Heather even knew about that interview besides watching the show or whatnot. But um, I, I guess, you know, there was some flirtatiousness. I mean, Daisy was like my type of girl, like completely, you know, like the tattoos, the blonde. I mean, she really was. Actually, after watching, um, and just, so, just to set the record straight, I'm not this type of guy. I don't watch a show and say, oh, well, gee, I was on a reality show. Let me go hit them up and say, hey, I'm 12 pack. You know me, blah, blah, blah. And start like the guys are all dating the girls on these shows. It was all, everyone was kind of intertwined. I tried to stay back. But when I saw Daisy on Rock of Love, I, uh, I messaged her on MySpace and uh, we talked, we even got on the phone. And so I, I engaged, you know, right away and we didn't go anywhere, obviously, but every opportunity I had to hang out with her, I, I took advantage of. And when I heard she had a show, I wanted to go on because she was definitely my type of girl, no doubt. So your relationship with Heather seems like it really was just for the show. It was kind of like a fling during filming, but it didn't seem like it on your side of things was going to go anywhere beyond that. I knew, you know, before we got out of the house, I knew after the first week it kind of got old, you know, so, you know, but then it's already starting to get old and here come the producers and they're like, Hey, we never really got that scene where you guys are like talking and, you know, kind of, where, where does that relationship begin? Because the relationship began in the hotel the day before we filmed, essentially. So the producers had us go and, you know, sit down and have this nice little kiss, and um, which was like a week later. And it was kind of like, we'd already done that. So we were just kind of redoing it. So maybe that's why when you watch, you're like, oh, these guys really are into it. But that was like a week earlier. So literally come week two or three, I think I was on I Love Money for, again, 15 days, 20 days. It was not long. So, you know, if we're two weeks into the show, where I'm almost out of the house at that point and by that point Heather and I were sleeping in the same bed because we you get your sleeping arrangements with day one you got to look at it like if you do something wrong to someone they're going to get mad and this is a show where we're trying to all be friends you know and Heather yeah. was a, 
a vindictive person. So, you know, as soon as she's like, let's get him out the first time, I was like, man, I really don't want to do anything where she's going to like go against me and then I'm going to get eliminated. Because that's the only way to get eliminated is rally the troops and you vote for somebody. And not everybody got voted for every week. So if I got three or four votes, I might be in the box just because Heather and two people join in. So um, we were sleeping in the same bed, but literally like on opposite sides. I mean, it was like at that point, you know, usually after 10 years of marriage, you might think that might be an option not after two weeks. So, you know, I just knew it wasn't going to work out. Um, but, you know, you just try to you just try to get through the show and keep her happy. Really, that was the goal. I was, if she got eliminated, things might have gotten interesting.